Psalms 107, verse 35. He turneth the wilderness into a standing water, and the dry ground into water springs. Shalom Makim, Kahala Yahweh, Bashem Yashai, Bashem Kokwadash, double honors my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect with the house of David reborn again in this generation, and Shalom to the one third of Yashurala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage, we were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the miracles and signs that the Lord is going to bring out in these last days, which were prophesied in the Bible. With the videos we just watched and are watching now are an example of one of those miracles that the Lord said would happen before the second coming, that he would create rivers in the, uh, in the deserts. Now, let's go ahead and read this. This is a, it says, the Wadi Ali Ram Ramah flows again in the Saudi desert. It says, uh, the heavy rains that have swept through Saudi Arabia over the past two weeks have not only brought flooding to urban areas, but quite the opposite. The most intense and extensive than usual rainfall has had the merit of irrigating Wad al-Ramah, al one of the longest river systems in the kingdom, which had been almost dried up for years and was partially blocked by sand dunes. But since the water is flowing again on this 600 kilometer long stretch of desert, the area has become a real tourist attraction for the Saudis. They rush to the desert to stroll along the water's edge, even indulge in some water sports such as jet skiing. Others have even been seen riding horses around the water holes and venturing out to ford, to ford water here and there. Artists are even spotted trying to immortalize these rare moments. So you can see here, these are the signs which the Lord prophesied. Now the first video we watched in this lesson it was uh, from the Al Naid or Al Nagav River in Iran, right? But these other videos are here in Saudi Arabia, right? But besides that, you gotta understand that though the Lord is doing this in a physical aspect, the Lord is also pouring water, or, you know, onto the spiritual uh, desert, right? That those spiritual waters would be the 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 truth of the Bible. And the spiritual desert would be us Israelites, the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans who have, you know, gone through the great falling away, meaning that we would lose our true heritage, that we would forget that we were the Israelites. And that's happened throughout history where we've gone into captivity through to multiple nations. We've forgotten who we were. We took on different identities. Some of us, uh, you know, by our own accord, some of them by our uh, captors, uh, you know, will. Let's read this. This is Isaiah 32 and 12. They shall lament for the teats. This is talking about our downfall, right? The Israelites' downfall, that is. For the pleasant fields and for the fruitful vine. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars. Yea, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city. Because the palaces shall be forsaken. The multitude of the city shall be left. The forts of the towers and towers shall be for dens forever, a joy of wild asses, a pasture of flocks. And here's the point. Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, that's happening now, and the wilderness be a fruitful field, and the fruitful field be counted as a forest. Right? And you see, what's happening now is that the Lord is starting to make Saudi Arabia, a fruitful field, right? Uh, he, the Lord is doing this multiple ways by, you know, pouring out massive amounts of rain upon Saudi Arabia this last year, or last few years, but also by, by giving the Saudis, right, the children of Ishmael, the technology and the passion to actually turn their desert into a, 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 a lavish forest-like, you know, uh, continent. Right? Over the last couple of decades, Saudi Arabia has been uh, investing 
in uh, agricultural uh, equipment and, and uh, perfecting desert farming. And this is why in the uh, video I showed you, there were images of, of just the growth of greenery and forest or what was considered forest-like areas in uh, Saudi Arabia, right? And now the wilderness has been turned into a fruitful field, okay? And, and but notice this, like it says, that our place would be a desolate place until when? Until the Spirit be poured upon us. Now, that's what's happening starting with Abba Bivens back in the 50s, right? The Lord started to, to awaken the Israelites by first waking up the, the, the prophets, right? Bringing this knowledge back into the earth little by little, perfecting it by the men of the Lord, right? Like in the, uh, the One West schools, the apostles who have refined this truth and have made it more perfect, right? And that's ultimately what's happening now. The Lord has poured His Spirit from on high, okay? And just as He's doing that, He's also fulfilling the physical aspect of these prophecies. This is Isaiah 41 and 18. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry lands springs of water. And was that not what we just watched in those videos of those uh, uh, that the dry land had turned into springs of water? So much so that water was even gushing out of some of those uh, crevices, see? So that right there is a physical representation of what's happening spiritually amongst the, the nation of Israel, amongst the Negro, Latino, Native Americans. This spirit that the Lord has put into us, this living water, which is the, the truth of the Bible, the, the words of the Lord, right? It's filling up our people, the one third that is, right? Because again, this truth is going out and it's reawakening us. It's quickening the spirit of our people. And we're now coming back, at least one third of our people are, right? We're, we're taking in that spiritual living water and we're coming back to life, right? We're springing up, you know, as, uh, as what does it say? We're springing up. Uh, it says the wilderness is springing up uh, to be a fruitful field, right? The, wil the wilderness, which was us, right? Just like it tells you in Ezekiel, the Valley of Dry Bones, which was what the, the, us Israelites were, were equated to be, right? We were a, a, a valley of very dry bones. But now that the Lord has poured His Spirit upon us, that living water, we are now turning into a fruitful field. Here's another video of, of uh, what's going on over there in Saudi Arabia. Now, this took place in 2020, but just showing you, man, how the Lord... It's fulfilling his, his uh, prophecies, right? Things that were written in Psalms, which was about, uh, that was, Psalms was like about like a thousand BC. Oh, I'm sorry, about, yeah, about a thousand years before the Messiah came on the scene, right? And uh, Isaiah, which was about 600 BC. See, look at this, right? These are, these are rivers and springs in the wilderness that have you know sprung up the dry places are now as uh, as pools of water see and this right here is a perfect spiritual representation of what's going on to uh, the, us Israelites right we are now uh, being filled with that living water that the Lord said he would pour out upon us so that way he could reawaken us call us back to our true heritage right this is what's happening to us Right? So what we're seeing, Akim, is, is literally the prophecies, you know, come to pass. These are the, the great signs that the Lord would show in the earth before the second coming of the Messiah. So this is why uh, the apostles have been, been saying that, you know, we only got months left. We only got a little while left before we start seeing some of these major prophecies, you know, coming to pass. Right? What is it? The, the mark of the beast being... Uh, being introduced, right? And then, you know, being made optional, then eventually mandatory. And then World War III kicking into high gear, right? We're already seeing the buildup for World War III. We're seeing the buildup for the implementation of the Mark of the Beast, right? And these are all signs that the Lord is sending upon the face of the earth. So that way you can 
identify them and know what time it is. You know? This is Isaiah 43, 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it will spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. See, there goes that prophecy. And this is Isaiah, like I said, around 600 BC. This is Acts 2 and 19. It says, actually, let me start on 18. It says, and on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days, right, the last days, of, of my spirit, and they shall prophesy, right? Am I not doing that? Am I is, is not the apostles doing that? The other brothers who are making all these lessons? And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire <clears throat> and vapor of smoke, right? These are those volcanoes, the all these massive fires you've seen around the world. See, these are the signs and, and wonders Akim, that the Lord has, has warned us to look out for. And I'm just here, just wanted to point this out and, and show you that these prophecies are literally happening, you know, in front, in front of our eyes, right? But the thing is, is the, because this world is, is ran by the devil, right? These Edomites, the Caucasian race, they're not gonna, gonna show this on mass. They're not gonna show this on TV, right? It has to be, uh, you know, uh, shared by the people, right? The true believers of the Lord, Right, and then and then ultimately uh, declared by the prophets, right? Because again, why? Because it's prophecy that the Lord would pour out uh, His Spirit and give these signs so for the people, and also uh, give these uh, give this message to His prophets, so that way they can shall prophesy and warn His people, right? And that's why the the prophets are referred to as the watchmen, because we're watching now for our people. So again. Hopefully this video is out of final outcome. Until next time, I want to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rukhav Dash, the honors my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.